welcome back guys so this video is a little bit different so this is the oat field well this was the oat field you might remember back in uh late july um into early august but late july we swathed these and then end of july and august a little in the beginning of august we harvested all the oats here um well what we have to do every year is that is the clover field well we didn't get as good a clover this year as we wanted to but uh the stuff, the, the underseeding plus the weeds grow back up over the rest of the remainder of the summer. So every late summer or even close to fall, which it's now September and uh, uh, September 10th, and uh, it's it's growing, it's grown back. So now we're doing what we what we do is uh, we're bat winging it all off to prevent any weed seeds from growing and spreading, and just to also make it look nice and. Uh, just get it all nice cut even he's already done the end pass here now we're just doing the big part we're using our brand oh our new to us john deere cx15 batwing mower uh, you remember earlier this year i put a video out of when we got that machine um it's been a handy machine this year we've we've mowed quite a bit with it this is the this is the biggest mowing job of the year we have to do and uh and sometimes, and sometimes we mow off our hay fields at the very end of the year when we need to. You know, stuff like that. We've had to do that before. We used to uh, uh, rent, kind of borrow, borrow rent a uh, bat wing from our one neighbor. And then he got out of farming, so he sold it. And then we had to go start looking for a bat wing. We were originally th thinking on buying that one, but uh, we found one. Uh, the other one was, what was that? Something I forgot the model. The other one, I think it was, it was, but this one was the CX15. We liked it, good condition, so we bought it, and uh, it's been working great for us. We we got it with the, uh, we we wanted to make sure we had one with stump jumpers and uh, just one one that was in really good shape. This one was, so yeah. That's it, that's pretty much how it works. So we just gotta do that to the whole field. We already did the small field that you might remember, it was across the road. Uh, we already, already mowed that, so yeah. Looking pretty decent in my opinion. Also on the right side, there's more chances of rain in the forecast. I just picked this pod from our bean field. That thing is big, and this was off of a thin spot of the field. A spot where the plants were a little, um, it was an end, the outer row, the plants were a little shorter than the rest. I'm actually quite impressed with this pod. A lot of the other ones look the same. I think we're, I think, I don't know, our soybeans, that, that last rain we got really just filled out those pods. So yeah, that was, that was definitely a blessing right there. Um, but yeah, the, uh, there's a lot of beans that have already pretty much died in the area, uh, but ours and a few others were the, I mean, we, they, we, we, we planted ours just late enough that we were able to catch this later rain and everything, but yeah, well, that's good news. And update on the farm all F20. So here on the truck here, we got, here are the rims. We had the tires dismounted off of them. Here they are. So these tires are junk. We're gonna get brand new ones for these rims. These rims are gonna to go to a local paint and auto shop, and they're and an auto body shop. They're gonna 
they'll sandblast them, repaint them, and uh, well, actually, I think powder coat them and uh, make them all nice and silvery. It's just if you're, for those of you who might be wondering why these rims look a little weird, it's actually because these are a uh, what I was told a split ring rim. What I heard is that these weren't common on tractors, like very rare. They're a rarity on tractors. They were very common on trucks and I mean semis, pickups, and all different types of machinery like that. Like but for big tractor tires, it was not common. And I think I've we've I've only ever seen. I did some looking. I think it was really only on the F20s that this ever existed. I think. And. Uh, yeah, so it's a little bit different than the rims I had on there before, but they're going to work regardless. They're a good set of rims. They're, not, they're in really good shape steel-wise. The, the, around the valve stem is still really thick. Like, there's no pitting out or anything. It's just nice and nice and clean. So, yeah, that's kind of the update there. And Say hi to the cat.